Hey everybody, welcome back to the new shop space. It's another exciting new machine day here in the shop and today we're gonna to be taking delivery of our second Miltronic CNC machine. That is gonna be the TRM 3016. This is a tool room mill. Um, it's gonna be sitting right here next to its companion machine, the ML16 II from uh, Miltronic. So uh, really excited about this, you know, I. As I mentioned in the first Miltronics video that uh, I'm working directly with Miltronics, we have formed a partnership and they are providing these machines here in the shop uh, for me to use and start learning, uh, start walking down that path of learning how to do CNC machining. So really excited about this. This is gonna add some great capabilities to the shop and I'm looking forward to beginning my journey of uh, learning even the most basic things about CNC machining and uh, start showing you some content on these two machines. So really excited about that. Truck drivers should be here pretty soon. Hopefully within the hour they're gonna be here or the truck driver will be here. And then also we've got the, uh, the guys from Southway Crane and Rigging. They're gonna be coming and uh, helping us get the machine off the truck and get it in here. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a pretty uh, simple, smooth operation. I believe it's gonna be a forklift job this time of uh, getting it picked up. Another machine and everything weighs right around 8,000 pounds. So get it in here and um, I don't know, get it skated in, but the riggers are going to be uh, working on that. That is their job to uh, get in here and get it set in place. So I am uh, really excited about this. I really am. And uh, this has been a great a partnership that I have formed with Miltronics, you know, working with them on providing a couple machines to the shop to uh, start learning and uh, providing some new skills here to the shop. The other thing I was going to point out is this, this uh, coincidentally happens to be on the uh, what's going to be the hottest day so far this year in Pensacola. We're supposed to be hitting 100 degrees with, uh, you know, heat index 110, 115. So it is, it's getting hot here, but I know that um, everybody in the country is kind of dealing with this uh, massive heat wave right now. It's just, it come a little sooner than expected. But I will say our air conditioners in here have been doing a great job. Our fan has been doing a great job. It's keeping it comfortable in here. But uh, once they get in here today and start doing this move, I'm probably gonna shut these guys off. We're gonna have the door open and uh, once the job's done, we'll close it up and uh, start letting it cool down again because it is starting to get warm. But anyway, hopefully we'll get this uh, unloading kicked off very soon and I'm excited to share it with you. I did want to mention to you, so this is where the new uh, TRM 3016 is going to be sitting right there. The uh, blue tape kind of indicates about the uh, size of the machine and uh, that should work really well. We have an airline, that's why I put this drop right here that will supply the mill. We, are, we already have a three phase circuit there so the electricians can come and quickly hook that in once it's done. And then once these guys are uh, both ready to go, we will be uh, getting with Miltronics. They're gonna be sending one of their technicians down here to get both of them fired off and uh, getting, you know, get the, uh, get the machines ready to run is uh, what they'll do. And they'll also provide a little bit of uh, training for me as well on uh, using the two machines. There's our truck driver bringing the Miltronic CNC mill. All right, there it is. They got it wrapped up nicely to protect it. Nice big heavy duty skid. All right, the riggers just showed up. They got a big forklift this time for this guy. I believe they got a box there they're gonna load that's got probably their machinery skates and some tools in there. They'll get that unloaded and then they'll uh, grab the, lift the machine up off the truck.
Why aren't you tilting it back? That made me a little nervous. No. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a process to uh, get the get the mill off of the skid uh, with the room that we have here and the equipment that we have. It's just it's it's causing challenges just like before. But uh, the guys are going to work on it, and it's going to be a slow process. But I think we're going to get it done. So just be patient and let them uh, do their job. I believe they're going to do the crab walk with the loader here to kind of get it over close to position as they can. We've got it about in the position as far as back as it's going to go. We had to have a little extra room for the coolant pan. It has to go out to the back, so we had to give a little extra room on the back side of the machine. Uh, so they're going to set on the skates, and uh, we should be able to set it down on the skates and simply roll it over here into our area that we're going to be at. So it'll be kind of lined up with the front of the, the blue tape right about there. All right, time to lower it down on the skates.
take off, it immediately shifted this way. So y'all going to have to make it twist. So they're working on getting it down um, off of the skate. They're using some two buys or some dunnage there, uh, just working it down slowly, a little at a time, uh, lower it down and then move one of the blocks out. So just keep lowering it down a little at a time until they get it sitting on the floor. So it's just kind of a little bit of a process involved, but they're getting it done. And, and uh, I think we're going to be through with it pretty soon. All right, the guys are getting ready to load up the uh, forklift. Their part of the job is done. They've got it set down on all of the leveling pads there. It is ready to go. That is gonna. That is the coolant pan right there. I did find that there's something here. There's some oil in there, so I've got to do some research, find out what's going on with that. There might be something loose that caused some of that oil uh, to come out, but this is the coolant tank that's gonna, it fits right up underneath there. So that's one of the reason why we had to set it a little further out from the wall is so that we could get this in and out whenever I needed to. But it's actually perfectly in line just about with the, uh, with the lathe there. They're about even. Really happy, excited to see this. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the plastic off of the, uh, the new Miltronics. Let's take a closer look at it. Uh, there's really not a lot that I'm going to be doing, but just kind of getting it unwrapped and getting it ready for the uh, Miltronics technician. Once we have these ready, we'll have to get it hooked in. Got to have the electrician come and wire it up. And then we're going to have a date scheduled so that the uh, Miltronics uh, technician will come down. And he is going to do the initial startup and calibration and everything for both of our Miltronics machines there. Uh, so we'll just kind of get it ready for him whenever, whenever that time comes. So let's... Uh, Let's go take a look at this thing, get the plastic off.
So this bracket that they ship where it bolts the, um, the head of the mill to the table here, I can tell they've got the weight of it kind of pushed down on the bracket because you can't move it with your hand. So this will have to come out after the machine is fully powered up and functional and we can raise the, the, uh, the mill head up off of it. So I believe we're getting pretty close to our initial setup. There's still plenty more to do, but I uh, wanted to go ahead and kind of catch up where we are. I did notice that you can see uh, some chips down in there and some oil there on both sides. I'm sure at the factory they do some test cutting on, on these guys before they ship them out. So, you know, evidence of uh, metal down there where they test cut and the oil. So what I had, I sent an email to uh, the technician that I've been dealing with at Miltronics and I uh, showed him my concerns about the oil, uh, the oil that was sitting there on top of the uh, coolant tray or the coolant pan, I mean. And he says that's normal because they, uh, you know, whenever they build a machine, they, they, they use the whey oil and they oil everything with rust inhibitors when they ship it. So the rust inhibitors will drip down into the bottom here. You can see it and it runs down. There's your drain. This is like for your coolant. It'll drip down into your uh, coolant sump there. So that's what that is. All right. And I wanted to point out this guy right here too. So we have another piece that connects to that that is gonna you know, uh, finish attaching that cable protector there. They actually ship it with the extra piece right here. And I think this has to do with shipping itself, but so we'll have to uh, attach that and get, that, get this piece connected right there as well. These doors here are made so that you can take these three bolts out. You can actually fold these doors down. There's some chains here, let me show you that. So they have chains there on the door so that you can lay that down if you need to access from the side. So if you have like long work pieces that you want to stick through, you can lay those doors down and have access on either side. And that might be handy later for maybe some filming or some video, but we'll see. We have, uh, I believe we have an air hose connection here that's going to supply the air to the machine. Our coolant sump right here, I still need to get that in. There is casters underneath that, so that will roll and it just fits right up underneath the machine there. And I think it actually, you can access it from the front as well. I wasn't thinking about that when we unloaded it. So you got a handle there. So I believe you can just pull it out in front of the machine to access the sump here. So we still got to work on that. Have to get the, uh, the motor, the pump and everything hooked up there. But I did want to show you the uh, electrical panel here. Let's see, it was, push that in, turn that, turn the switch there, and then there's our electrical panel there. This is where all the books are for the machine. We have our warranty information in here, installation information. There's a couple other pieces, I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but there's some keys in here as well. They have a wiring diagram for hooking in for the power. Add these guys in here to absorb some moisture. I went ahead and opened up the right side of the machine here so that you can see how the doors operate. Now you can just uh, take, take these chains loose with the hooks and lift that out and just remove the door completely if you want to. So we'll put it back up so you can see. There's a catch in there so you can pick it up and it ain't gonna fall down. And then the uh, two bolts there secure it. Not sure what that bolt is for. It's just a tapped hole, so I'm not really sure. So we'll put the other two bolts back in there and then 
That'll be uh, locked back into place so it gives you good access from the side if you need to. I think that might help us at some point when we're doing some uh, job setups or maybe even trying to film something. Well guys, I think that's gonna conclude this video of our new machine delivery install and then the first initial setup there. There's still plenty more things to do, but it's just minor things. I got a couple more parts there. We need to hook in the motor and the pump and a couple other little minor things. But from here, we need to get the electrician in to uh, hook the machine in, which should be pretty simple. They've already got the circuit ran back there for it. So we'll get that on the books. And then we're gonna be uh, trying to schedule with the Miltronics technician and uh, whoever that is, they're gonna come down here and they're gonna spend some time in the shop and they're gonna be getting both of these new Miltronics machines fired up, under power, running, whatever it is that they do that they have to do their initial setup, uh, get everything calibrated. And of course, they're gonna be showing me how to run the machines there as well once they do that. So really excited about that. Another big thanks to Miltronics USA for wanting to work with me and helping to provide these two machines here in the shop for my education and learning how to do CNC work. And that's gonna help provide some additional content for the channel and additional capabilities for the shop here, whether it be for job shop work or product development. You know, a lot of people invest in these machines because they have a product that they wanna make. And I'm no different. I've had ideas for different tools and things for a long time. And I think that that is going to help me uh, with maybe some of those ideas in the future. We might be able to have, uh, you know, an A-bomb built tool or some kind of product out there uh, available to people. So, you know, we'll be able to use these machines for that. And the basic learning, you know, uh, I'm familiar with lathe and mill work, but I'm not familiar with CNC work. It's all operated right here on that control panel. So it's just, uh, it's something completely new for me that I got to learn how to do, which we're going to be getting uh, beginning here very soon. I wanted to mention this to you. There's a perfect timing for this. So uh, very soon to the timing of the release of this video, I'm going to be taking a trip up to Zanesville, Ohio to Saunders Machine Works, and I'm going to be uh, taking one of his CNC training classes up there. So I've been friends with John for quite a while now. I've been up there twice to visit him during his open house. And back in 2020, I had uh, emailed him and asked him about his training classes because I wanted to go ahead and try to get in that and get started on it. Well, that was when the COVID thing hit, you know, everything changed. He had to like quit doing his courses at that particular time because of COVID. And now we fast forward to 2022, it's gonna be July. And he is now starting back up his training classes. But back when I emailed him about that, I asked him, could I get in on the next class whenever that happens? And the timing has just worked out perfect that we have our new machines in here and he's about to start his new classes and I'm in on that, that first class there. So we're gonna be going up there. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be a three day course that they're gonna be teaching how to do CNC work. And I believe this is a course that's uh, designed for anybody, anybody's uh, skill level when it comes to machines. You can be a complete beginner, which is how, what I am for CNC machines and go through this course. So really excited. I am planning on taking the camera and trying to get some kind of video to share with you guys on the channel of the uh, little adventure there, and maybe the, uh, the class and the machines that they use and maybe what it is that they're teaching us to do there during the class and then uh, hopefully even go through John's shop there and uh, see all the upgrades that he's done. He's, he's been adding a lot of machines at his shop there as well and new capabilities on his end. So really excited about that visit there and finally going to begin that training that I need for running these machines here. So that's going to be it. We're going to sign off. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I really appreciate everybody's support that I constantly get for the channel and everything, all the efforts that I put into the videos and what I try to share with everybody uh, on the week weekly basis. So we have a whole lot more to do. This is only the beginning of this particular journey here. And just to reiterate, we're not switching 
We're not moving all into CNC work. This is just something that we're going to be adding to the shop. We're going to keep doing the job shop work with the manual lays, the manual mills, our fabrication work, our job shop stuff. It's going to keep, we're going to keep showing that on the channel there as well. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we will see you again very soon.